Protesters tell me that they're not giving up until they actually see a crosswalk with a light at this intersection. They said they've heard these promises before and enough is enough. <laughs> While 100 people protested at the intersection of 39th Avenue and Southern, dozens more drove through, <laughs> supporting the need for a crosswalk. At least put lights on the roadside, on the road. There's no lights. There's nothing. Some even said this is the safest they've ever felt while crossing this street as officers helped to guide traffic. It's, uh, it's hectic. You can see it right now. What's going on? Uh, there was a handicapped person trying to go across the street. She couldn't do it. There are constant reminders at the intersection of where there were crashes. There's Angela Innes, who died in late November. There's Manuel Villaverde, who was killed last week. And then there's David Pulley who was alive to organize this protest a little over a year after his crash. Let's get it done. We're not waiting anymore. I was on my motorcycle right behind him. I saw him get hit. I saw him go down. I saw him dead in the road. So I saw everything start to finish. His wife and many others from the American Legion came out to show their support, wanting to make sure the city follows through on the plans to install a Hawk crosswalk. No one cares. You know, we, we're also human too. It doesn't matter where we where we're from. Thank you. We matter. We matter. Oh, we need a crosswalk. We need lights. We need something. Right, we need everything. Around about whatever or something. We need. We need something done. It's their city. Wouldn't they want their their city safe? City officials say they are also considering adding street lights to this intersection because that is the only one here. And check out how dark it is without our camera light. The city also says that they are seeking the public's input about what they think should go here at this intersection. So far, they have not announced a date when they will have that meeting. For now, reporting in Phoenix, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.